is Katie Scholl, and I'm going to talk to you about um, when I went to Scotland this past summer on a mission trip with my church. Um, I went with my youth group with 12 other teenagers and three adults, and um, we went to Dundee, Scotland to work in the schools over there. Um, it took us about 24 hours of travel time to get there and um, three different layover spots, but we finally got there. And, um, we stayed for 10 days with host families, and I stayed with um, the missionary that we were actually working with. His name is Patrick, and his wife is Gemma, and they have two little kids named um, Georgie and, um, and Jason. And then um, we spent the next couple of days working in the schools, and it was a really great experience. And a little background on Scotland, it is um, a Christian like government, but is actually what is called a post-Christian society, which means that they just don't really care about religion in general, and um, most teenagers actually don't really even know what Christians are like, and they have a lot of false pretenses, so we worked with the religious education program and held seminars three times a day for an hour and a half with teenagers from 12 to 14, and our job was kind of just to um, talk about our faiths and show them um, what Christians were like and that we weren't um, like weird people and that we could have normal lives and um, we kind of we would go into the seminar and we would play a couple games first to kind of lighten the mood we would play like fruit basket turnover and bring me and then we would separate into groups with two um, teenagers from my youth group and then about seven to eight um, teens from the school and we would start with playing two videos that just had different testimonies from different <coughs> people in my youth group. Um, one would be about how God would work through their lives through sports and their hobbies, and the other one was how God worked through their lives through family. So, and then after the video, we would just talk about um, how God would work in our lives and um, what He meant to us. And it was a really cool experience, and it was a really growing experience for my faith, and I really enjoyed it. And it was definitely a different kind of a hard mission trip because it's different from going to necessarily like Honduras where you build a house and you see the results immediately. Um, you don't necessarily see the results and you're not necessarily always actually going to know the impact you had. But um, I still keep in touch today with um, many of the teens that I met over there and we also worked with the local church and building them up and um, helping them be strong in their faith too. And I keep in touch with them also. and. Um, it was just a really great experience, and um, at the end of each session, we would also have an opportunity where the teens could ask us any question they wanted about America or about Christianity, and that was really cool, and um, got some hard questions, but it really helped me grow in my faith, and I hope they grow in theirs.